Hello, Rosalind Eleven here again. Now, I'm sorry about last week's delay, because I, I didn't actually do the review for last week's Ron Smackdown, I'm sorry. I still had a really busy week because my exam's coming up and I have to do some revision. So what I've done is done it when my parents aren't here, so they have no idea. But don't tell them that. Now, both on SmackDown and Raw, there was both SmackDown and Raw on each show. So I'm going to start with what with what's happened on Raw first. So, for the, the main event, there were all the basic um, matches that night. But the main event was, t was SmackDown versus Raw, Battle Royal. All members of SmackDown in a Battle Royal with all members of Raw. Simple enough? Sure. And SmackDown came up with a victory. So they defeated Raw! Hooray! And now to the um, least good part. Um, as I'm sure you know, there was the match between, um, oh god, Michael Mitch Kirikari and that um, other guy. Um, I forgot his name. You know what I mean, though. And they were up against John Cena and Randy Orton. Who won? Those two won, who worked really well as a team. I never thought those two would work well as a team. And just before Cena was about to shake Orton's hand, Wade Barrett interrupted, telling Cena not to shake Orton's hand. He then told Cena to get out of the ring. So he did, and Nexus then took apart the Viper. As they have done so many times before, leaving Orton in a poor, miserable state on the mat. Oh well, to SmackDown. Um, as on that that night, there were loads of different matches between SmackDown and Raw, and in every single one of those matches, SmackDown won, apart from the last one because it was disqualified because. Um, all members of Team SmackDown and all members of Team Raw came in to have a little bit of a fight. And the, and the last two were Sheamus and Edge. No, sorry, um, CM Punk and Edge. And CM Punk speared... No, 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 sorry. Edge speared CM Punk. So, and so all, and then all members of Team Smackdown came in the ring and said well done to each other. And I can't wait for Brian Weiss because I am sure that Smackdown is going to win. And anyone who's a big Smackdown fan out there will want them to win. And then the main event. As I'm sure I've explained not that long ago, Randy Orton was destroyed by the Nexus on Monday. But he f was fighting free for Friday. Because he had to go up against the demented world heavyweight champion that is the devil's favourite demon, Kane. And so it was going either way, it was a brilliant match. Kane, and here's the best bit Kane was about to choke slam Orton, and then the lights went out because the Undertaker's dong had gone. And it was like that for about 10 seconds. When it came up, Orton was free from the clutches, but the Undertaker was nowhere to be found. So Undertaker lay out, laid off the perfect distraction for Orton to RKO Kane and get the win. So Randy Orton, has, that was Raw's only victory on SmackDown. And then, the, and then it got even better. Kane was absolutely enraged that the Undertaker had done that. Oh, I'm sorry, I... I think my parents are back. I'll be quick. So, um, the blue lights came out down, and Undertaker crashed throughout inside of the ring and grabbed Kane and took him down to the ground. So, I think don't think Kane's going to be very fighting fit for brain rights. I think Undertaker's going to win, and Kane is going to be buried alive. And I cannot wait for that. 
And so, as I have done a lot before, for all you Wonder Taker fans out there, rest in peace.